All right, here we are again, as we've been sliding this house, getting the house slid over. Uh, just setting myself up on the top of the ladder. And there we have the jack on an angle. So you can see how we slide the house. Okay, see that camera's light sensitive. Uh, Frankie's setting up the dumpy. You might, if you can get further back, Frank, over there somewhere and still see that post. That way we can get these three at the front and probably a few more styles to get the heights. Yeah, around there, wherever you can get it so we can see from where you are, as many styles as we can. Yeah, about either. Alright, so we get our height and uh, work out our height to get our floor right. As we get our height, so, so we get the house about uh, an inch to two inches above uh, height. So we have it uh, free enough or high enough to put the uh, steel stops under and have room to let it down. All right. Okay. Showing back, back to back to the uh, these styles. Okay. What we have is our soap board. You can see our, our timber. It's a hardwood, so it doesn't crush. And we've put soap on it. Use use just a, a basic soap, a sunlight soap. Uh, just a pure soap. Soap is very very slippery. I don't know if you've ever stood stood on a bar of soap in the shower. But the heavier you are, the faster you move. House is reasonably heavy. So of course you got to watch out that you don't move too fast. So that's why we use timber. If we use steel on steel uh, with soap, there's no way we could control it because the steel is just too hard and the soap gets too slippery. So we use timber because what happens with timber, timber actually crushes a little, which gives it a little bit of bite. So we've got a bit more friction to play with. And we like the idea of a bit of friction. It gives something to slow the house down. Look, uh, we don't want the house taking off on us. Uh, so we, we appreciate having a little bit of friction there to uh, to help uh, the house not take off. So we've got a chance to uh, push and uh, adjust as we want without the house going too far. And of course, uh, if you set it up right, uh, you can actually just push it by hand. It gets that, that good, but then you have the hassle where it might just go too fast. Anyway, there we are. And what we are, what we're going to do now is take these soaps out so I can rebuild this thigh. And uh, like I've just done over there, taking the soap off. So we no longer have the house on soap, because on soap it's not very safe. You can't do anything with it, because it may just slide around and move, and we don't want that. We've already got it uh, in position. We found out we've got our string lines and plumb bobs and them all over the shop to tell us where we are. So now we take the whole house off uh, our soap boards. And these are the, the colour of that camera. <laughs> it makes it look like a wood bed. But uh, yeah, so as, as uh, we now go through, take all the soap boards off and adjust the house to height. So uh, if there's anything I can help you with uh, to show you how to, uh, or tell you how to uh, have a, move a house safely, uh, just let us know in the uh, comments below, okay? And uh, don't forget to hit that little subscribe button down there. Much appreciated. All right, guys, talk to you again soon and show you more uh, about what we're doing on this house. Okay, thanks for viewing. See you, bye.